Hey there, this is Salman and you are watching Zeta Lysis. In this video, we are going to repair our email with this Infinex. This is Infinex Hot 10. First, we will check it is IMEA just by dialing star 06 h And we can easily see that it is IMEA is corrupted and nullified. Both IMEAs are converted into 000. That can be any means by just flashing and updating by any means. This problem can occur. So to repair this IMEA, first we have to turn off this phone. Just press on the power key. Just to power off this phone. Now keep this phone aside. Now come to the Windows interface. First to download and install MTK drivers because this phone is MTK based phone and after installing drivers according to your Windows version either it is Windows 7, 8, 10 or it is 64 bit or 32 bit after that download and install MAUI Meta latest version I already download and install all the necessary drivers I'm just opening it double click and open it now move it to this side now open the device manager I am using Windows 11 I am just pressing Windows X key simultaneously and M key for device manager now the device manager is opened also I will see my established ports here so that's why I am just keeping it into a side and I am opening the port section and in this MIUI meta now just grab your USB cable while the phone is turned off click connect here do not change any settings here just click on connect button after connecting now it will wait for the boot because the MTK phones gives it this bootloaders in the power of state and just for a few seconds after that the bootloader disappear but in the same time this tool gets the preloader or boot port so after that it will process further just without holding any keys i am just plugging it though with usb cable the other end of the usb cable is connected with my pc so i'm just connecting and watch it this and the tool in the computer screen i just connected here and it's still you can see no port is established there just it booted into the charging screen so we will again unplug it wait for a few seconds one two three then just plug it back into the phone and this time we will try it will get the ports or not and absolutely it got the port now on the computer screen you can see it got the boot it got the kernel port now it's connecting to the access point ap after that it will complete the further requirements and in the computer screen you can easily see there it capture the gadget cdcv com driver because it booted this phone into the meta m a u i meta mode sometime this tool stops in the 32 or 32 percent sometimes stops the 22 percent sometimes it stops anywhere else but this time it did not stop anywhere and it did all the checks and now it's connected 
to the phone in the meta mode you can see that it is clearly in a uh, meta mode so look into the computer screen the phone is connected now now we have to load the database from here now I click on the load database just click from the target and it will load the database from the target it failed close it again load the database from the target now at this time it will succeed the load database succeeded from the phone now click here in the search tool now click on the imei download tool now here we have to write both imeis here so i have backup to my original imei here in a text file so i am opening that file I opened this file and now I will put from all IMEI, copy this IMEI here and paste into here and see it will work or not. It, you, we can check that it is not working so we have to manually type this IMEI. I'm just putting my phone here and just typing my IMEI. Now just click on the checksum button it will automatically check it as checksum you can see its last digit is zero and it also calculated its last checksum as zero. Now I will put my second IMEI in the same, same two field I click here and I am not going copying this IMEI I am just directly inputting my IMEI here in the IMEI2 field. Now click on your checksum and it will automatically calculate the last digit which is checksum of all the remaining digits. Now I inputted my original IMEI of Infinix Hotin and I'm just going to write this IMEI. Now click here on the right button. I'm just clicking here. I just writing and now you can see it is passed and it's okay and you can see here the output is write IMEI to target successfully. Now I'm just going to close this tool IMEI tool and just I'm disconnecting from this tool because just by clicking here disconnecting it had the phone automatically reboot into the normal end system. So I'm just disconnecting from here. I clicked on disconnect and you can see that the meta port will turn off in a few few seconds because it turned off now it is booting into the normal mode and just wait for this process to finish if it did not now just plug this USB out and press on all the power button to turn on the phone turn on the phone and wait for the process Now this time we will check we succeeded or not. I'm just checking IMEI by dialing again star H06 H and you can see that this time we repaired our IMEI successfully and now you will get all the services and signals back and this solved our problem while we accidentally corrupted our IMEI. So that is all for this solution how to write IMEI of Infinix Hotel and this method will absolutely work on any MTK phone which can be connected to the preloader mode or anything else. There are some restrictions on the other phones but mostly phones this method works. And so that's all about this method and hope this will also work for you and not for only Infinix Hot 10 and for and also for the other MediaTek phones. I hope this video helped you and if it did make sure to give the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and just not only subscribe ring the bell so my friends will never miss any upcoming tips, tricks and advanced tutorial. Thanks for watching and stay tuned I will see you in my next one. Till then keep smiling.